Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about the courses that I did as a part of my second year first semester uh, for my civil engineering undergrad degree in India. And I'll make another video for the courses that I did in my second year second semester. Um, so whenever that comes out, if you do like this video, um, make sure to check it out. All right, so with me here, I have my laptop on which I've written down the stuff that I want to make sure I talk about. And before we begin, I just want to put it out there that everything I say is my own personal opinion about what I felt every single course was like. If you guys want a much, much detailed explanation on what every single course holds, I would definitely suggest you look at the online course materials which are available or refer to the textbooks that each of these courses use. If you guys want to know which textbooks I used to study these courses, let me know in the comments below. I will make uh, a list of that and share it with you guys. And um, I'm here to just give you a summary, to give you a gist of what it all was like. So yeah, I guess we're ready to begin. Uh, I will make sure to add the timestamps for all the courses in the description below. So if you guys want to skip around courses, uh, you'll be able to do that pretty easily. All right, so let's begin with the first course. Um, the first course that I did was Mechanics of Solids. Uh, which is basically analyzing structures, just very basic stuff. You start by talking about free body diagrams uh, of beams, frames, and trusses. Um, trusses, if you don't know what it is, is an assembly of structural members um, which make um, a giant structure. You would have seen those on bridges, airports, malls, towers, etc. And what basically we did in that was we were finding out the reactions in each member, in each beam, in each uh, in each member of each frame or each truss. And we were um, basically seeing if how much how much reaction every single member held. Uh, yeah, so this course also dealt with shear force and bending moment diagrams. Bending moment diagrams is basically how a structure or a beam is going to bend on application of a load or a force. And towards the end, we also covered about the deflections that can happen in any structure because of any loading that happens, that acts on it, and how we can prevent it from displacing. We also kind of touched more on the stress strain um, aspects of uh, this course, we talked about the Mohr circle uh, also in pretty in, in quite a lot of detail. So yeah, I guess that was basically what Mechanics of Solids was all about. Majorly free body diagrams and shear force and bending moment diagrams. Um, so if you like those drawing those diagrams, you will definitely have fun in this course. Moving on to the next course, which is Survey. Surveying in definition is basically just examining and taking a no note of what your site is like. It basically has, uh, you, you deal with the kind of questions like, what is the level of site? Uh, what is the variation in topography? How, how much elevation or depression do you have with respect to mean sea level uh, on your site? Uh, what is the dimensions, what is the area of your site, and questions like that. Um, we began this course by talking a little bit about GPS and how it can be used uh, in surveying. And then we went into learning the conventional methods of surveying, like chain surveying and optical methods of surveying. Uh, Finding the dimensions of a site may seem very easy. It's just like, hey, go on, it's a site. How hard can it be? But say, for example, you have a site which is so huge that you cannot see the end point or the other end of your site. Or say there is a massive 
uh, water body flowing through your site or there is an obstruction like a building or a tree or there is a hill or valley uh, within your site it's going to make the whole process very tiresome and that's where we get surveying to help us out with the process so um this basically is a course that you will like if you like middle school and high school algebra uh, geometry and trigonometry um majority of the calculations that we did were applications of angle conversions and the trigonometry that we did in class 10 that is triangles basically sin theta cos theta and tan theta so if you liked those chapters those subjects uh, in your school you will have fun in surveying it's fun we also had a lab component for surveying where we first talked about uh, we first learned about qgis which is a software and we also um, talked about theodolite which is a very uh, common equipment in survey so yeah overall it's a good course if you like geometry and trigonometry um, you'll have fun if you like doing that in middle school and high school all right so the next course that we're going to talk about is materials very self explanatory it's all about materials concrete cement aggregates Uh, and other construction materials like reinforced cement concrete recessed concrete and all and on it is a very theoretical course with the exception of one topic which is mixed design mixed design um if i were to put it if i were to get an analogy is basically a recipe but for concrete you will be given the strength of your concrete um uh, and the exposure to moisture and humidity that your structure will have and you'll be given a few other parameters and you'll have to design the ratio the proportion of how much cement you should have how much uh, fine aggregates you should have how much coarse aggregate you should have how much binder you should have and just you have to make up all the ratios and you have to come to the mixed design for concrete other than that it's a very theoretical course um and yeah i guess that basically is what materials is all about we also had a lab component for materials which mainly dealt with um testing of materials um we have another topic called non destructive testing which is on its own a very huge part of the field so that was materials going on to the last compulsory course that i had to do which is fluid mechanics fluid mechanics deals with the flow of fluids bro it is all about pressure bernoulli's equations bernoulli's equations applications uh, in real life water hammers dams orifices notches weirs and on and on uh this is a very numerical kind of course where you have to solve quite a lot of numericals um the calculation part we mainly dealt with pressure equations uh, bernoulli's equations effective forces uh, pressure head water flowing quantity of water flowing through any given channel and stuff like that and if you like the pressure and bernoulli equation bernoulli theorem chapters in your high school physics you will definitely love this course it's a very nice course um so yeah i guess those were the four compulsory courses that i did i did one compulsory course in math which was on differential equations and i had an option to choose a humanity in which i chose developmental economics where we talked about poverty and how to measure poverty uh that kind of sums up all the courses that i did in my second year first semester so if you guys liked this video do consider liking it sharing it and subscribing to my channel um if you have any suggestions or if you want me to ma make a video on any topic do let me know in the comments below i'll try to get to them and 
I will also put out another video where I talk about the courses that I took up in my second year, second semester. So if you like this video, do make sure to check that out when it comes. And if you guys stuck around till here, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Have fun and I'll see you in the next one.